here with the interview coach, Donald Pickett, coach. Conference season continues as you head for, uh, to Abilene Christian for a three-game series. Obviously, you're just one series in, uh, sweeping Lamar this past weekend, but uh, it's got to be a pretty good feeling to, to be 3-0 and in the league for the first time in a couple of years. Yeah, I mean, it's good to get off that good start, but, you know, it starts all over this week and different opponent, different matchup, and we're going to be on the road against a quality, another quality opponent, and uh, we've got to be able to go in there and, um, you know, do what we need to do to, to win those ball games. But uh, they're a very athletic team. Uh, they've got, a, you know, some good pitching in the circle. So, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be, you know, I think one of the contenders, and uh, it'd be huge for us to go in there and, and get some games, um, you know, at, on their home field. Abilene Christian has been one of the better teams in, in the past couple of years. Uh, the first weekend they went and took two or three at Southeastern, who was expected to be a, a pretty good team coming into this season. What, uh, you know, what challenges does Abilene Christian present? Well, um, they got Hannah Knoll. Uh, she's a senior pitcher that's been there for a while, and uh, you know she tries to make speeds and, and different things. And then they've got some really good athletic hitters um, in their lineup that are upperclassmen. So. Uh, we got a lot of experience there uh, on that team, so uh, you know it, it's definitely going to be a challenge uh, for us. But uh, we got to you know really concentrate on what we want to do and how we want to play uh, going in there and have our minds right to, to give us a good chance at competing well and, and winning some games. You got a, a senior pitcher yourself and Michaela Bouvier. She won two games this past weekend against Lamar. It's it's her first conference wins in two years after uh, fighting some injuries last year. Um, what has she been able to do that's that's really allowed her to be successful? Well, I think you know she's taken confidence out there on the mound, and uh, you know she um, really has a presence. Uh, you know, out there she tries to go right at hitters, and uh, I think that you know she knows that our defense is behind her and teams behind her, and you know everybody's uh, you know got everybody's back on this team, so. Uh, you know, she brings a lot of experience too. I know she's not been out there in a few years, year and a half, uh, for us helping us win games. But you know, she's pitched in some big games here uh, over her time, and uh, you know, I think she understands what's ahead of her, and she knows this is you know going to be her last year. So she's going out there every day to you know make the best of it and, and take advantage of the opportunity she's got to come back and finish out this last year. How tough is it for a player who has has experienced? tremendous success here, has gone through injuries, and then has had to, to make a comeback mentally and physically. Um, you know, how proud of you of the of the transition that she's been able to make, and, and what are some of the ways that she's been able to do that? Well, I, I'm very proud of her. I mean, she's uh, definitely, you know, she's fought through some knee injuries also here, um, and then this last injury was a shoulder injury, so a couple of different injuries, um, but, you know, I think mentally is the, the biggest key with a lot of the kids when they get hurt like that and they're out for an extended period of time. Uh, I think that's what's happened, you know, with the pitching situation here uh, with Michaela, both Michaela's. Um, it's been an extended period of time injury, and I think that's really, uh, it really challenges you mentally uh, to make sure you keep your mind right and try to work to get back. And, um, you know, there are setbacks, there are big setbacks when you're out that long. And uh, I think it really takes a tough minded individual, and I think both of those are. Um, and I think that you're seeing that uh, this year with them coming back, uh, continuing to try to, you know, gain confidence and try to lead our team, um, you know, to help us win ball games. When, when you talk about being able to get a sweep, it takes a certain mentality to go out each, each all three of those games and, and, and win, win in some close situations. I'm assuming that there's got to be a similar mentality to winning games on the road. How do you kind of what, – what kind of mentality has this – team been able to develop and, and that can you can that help you on the road well I think you know the closeness uh, and I think it takes a toughness uh, for sure uh, to do that especially against quality opponents um, you know and everything's different and you know that going in you got to wrap your mind around all the obstacles you, you're going to face um, and just say you know we're gonna handle it and I think everybody's got confidence in each other and got to trust in each other that we know what's in front of us and we know everybody's got to pull their weight uh, to get things done and uh, you know hopefully whatever situations we get in over there good or bad we keep that focus and that fight coming and uh, you know if we have those two things then that toughness will show up and we'll have chances to win games coach thank you very much thanks